Hello and welcome. This is a video for parents, carers and students trying to log on to the West Acton Microsoft Teams video chat for the first time. Please try all the steps in this process before your next video call to make sure that you can log in successfully. If you have any queries, please email the admin email account and we will do our best to come back to you. This video will show you where to request login details if you do not have them, an example of the email that you will receive containing usernames, an example of the text message that you will receive with containing passwords, and how to log on to Microsoft Teams. To request your login details, you will need to go to the school website, westactonprimaryschool.org. West Acton Primary School all being one word with no spaces. Once you're on our homepage, you'll need to go to Pupils and then Home Learning. The web address for this is westactonprimaryschool.org forward slash pupils forward slash home learning. Once on this page, you can access the home learning file link if you click here, but then also there is a section below for pupil login details, and this is a request form. We'd like you to enter your child's full name, please. So that's first name and last name, and then select which class they are in. Once you have done that, please select which login you would like to request. If you would like Bug Club or Espresso as well as your Teams login, then please select them as well. If you go a bit further down, there's Microsoft 365 slash team, which is available for reception children all the way up to year six. At the bottom, please enter the parent or carer full name registered on the school system as a main contact for the child. We will check this against our school system and if it matches up, then we will process your details. If not, we will email you back to let you know and you might want to change the name on your request. We also need your email address. This will be used to send the usernames to. Please check that you have written your email address correctly because if you enter it in wrong, then we will not be able to send the usernames to you. Important note, passwords will be sent by text message. Some parents and carers have got confused thinking that we'll be able to send them all via the same form of communication. Unfortunately, due to GDPR reasons, we have to send usernames and passwords via separate mediums um, in order to comply with this. Once you have submitted your request, you should receive a reply within 24 hours. Please note, this is not an automated service. The request that you send will be sent to an email address and passwords will be uh, found out by a teacher. This will then be sent to our admin account and forwarded on to you. We do our best to reply to requests within 24 hours. If you have not received your email within 24 hours, then please check your junk mailbox. You may receive multiple usernames for the different systems that we subscribe to. Here in this example, Microsoft 365 slash Teams is highlighted in yellow. The username will end with dot 307 at westactonprimaryschool.org. All of this will need to be entered on the Teams website. Passwords will be sent to you by text message to the mobile phone number that is registered with the school. They will appear in a format similar to those on the screen. The Microsoft 365 slash Teams one can be seen on the screen at the last but one. Just to remind you that this is not an automated service and an individual is actually texting you out these passwords. Therefore, they may come at a separate time to your username. They may even come before your username. Please wait 24 hours from receiving either your usernames or your text message before letting us know that you haven't received the other one. This is the same service that we use to send out text messages about the Teams chat. So if you've received those messages, then hopefully you should receive your passwords as well. If you're asked to download any additional software from School Jotter, then please do let us know as you should not need to do this to gain your passwords. Once you have received your username by email, 
and your password by text message, you will need to go onto your internet browser. On your internet browser, you will need to go to the Teams website. The Teams website address is https colon forward slash forward slash teams dot microsoft dot com forward slash. This should have been sent to you by text message, but if not, you can type it into the web address and save it as one of your favorites. Once you are on the Teams website, it will ask you to sign in with your email address, phone number or Skype. This is not your personal email address or phone number or Skype address. It is the email address or username that was sent to you via email. The username will normally be a few characters, so for example five letters, followed by a couple of numbers. Then every username will end with dot 307 at westactonprimaryschool.org. West Acton Primary School all being one word with no spaces. As you can see, the username I have entered ends with dot 307 at westactonprimaryschool.org. Once you've done that, click next. Once you've clicked next, it will say trying to sign you in and then ask you to enter a password. The password was sent to you by text message to the phone number that was registered to the school if you have not received this text message, please send an email to admin at west-acton.ealing.sch.uk and we will do our best to help you. We may ask you to confirm your telephone number so that we can check that it matches those that we have on our system. The password will normally be a word of an everyday object followed by a number. Once I've entered the password, click sign in. You may then be asked to stay signed in. I would click yes, because this means that when I come back to the website, it will remember you. If you're on a public computer, click no, and then you can enter your details again next time. Once you have entered all your details, you may see a screen like this, which asks you if you'd like to download the Teams desktop app and stay better connected. You'll have the option to either do that on your app or on a Windows PC or laptop. I'm actually going to use the web app instead to show you that you don't have to download any new software onto your uh, computer to make this work. Once you've clicked that, you'll then see a screen which is very similar to this. I'm currently logged in as a Year 2 child, therefore I can only see the Year 2 team. If you're a Year 5 child, then you'll only be able to see the Year 5 team. If you're in the Woodlands, you'll be able to see the Woodlands team followed by the year group that you're associated with as well. Once here, click on the year group. It will automatically bring you to this screen. This is the general channel on Teams and we're on the post section. You will automatically come to this page. On this page, you can see that teachers and children have been chatting throughout the week. This is manned by teachers from 10 o'clock until 11 o'clock every school day and where children and teachers can type to each other and ask each other questions. You can also see here that a year two video chat took place that ended after 37 minutes. This is where you will see any live video chats. They'll normally be at the bottom. As you can see, a video chat has now started. When you log in, if there is a video chat that is live, you should just be able to click on join here and go straight to the video chat. If your camera is on, then you will be able to see your teachers and your friends and they should be able to see you as well.